The tombs of ancestors nestle in this grove near Antakya. The traditional Alawite homeland bridges both Turkey and Syria. The air is thick with frankincense. Turkey's Arabic-speaking Alawites come here to ask for healing, to offer prayers, thanksgiving and sacrifices. <laughs> Only the rams aren't having a fine day out. This is for the well-being of my only child, her success at school, passing her university exam, coming back safe from an overseas trip. I slaughter a sheep when the wish comes true, and we invite the whole family to eat it together. Arab Alawites worship differently from Turkish Alevis and have different spiritual leaders, but they're both a branch of Shia Islam. Alawites here and in Syria follow the Quran, but also celebrate Christmas and revere thousands of prophets. They're a closed faith, secretive and protective of their rituals. The reason for secrecy is fear. When you reveal things, people may target your lives, assets or honor. So you are forced to hide it. Throughout history, up till now, we Alawites been subject to pressure oppression and discrimination. After the 1980 military coup in Turkey, Alawite festivals were all but outlawed. But now people are slowly regaining their confidence. Turkey gained control of Hatay province in 1939. Many Syrians still regard this region as theirs. And there are nearly 800,000 Alawites living here. That's nearly half the total population. And they're not happy with how Turkey is dealing with the crisis in Syria. They believe that Syria's President Bashar al-Assad is trying to hold a tolerant pluralist Syria together under attack by Western-led Sunni extremists, the Free Syrian Army, headquartered in Hatay. Right now, through the taxes we pay, the money we give, those terrorists who are cutting our throats and killing us are being sheltered in here, in Antakya. For these Turkish Alawites, the future looks frightening. Syrian Alawite refugees perhaps soon filling these small Turkish towns and the whole region destabilized. Anita McNaught, Al Jazeera, Harbiye, Southern Turkey.